Hello and welcome to this video tutorial with a quick overview of changes in RapidPlan version 3.2. This release contains several new features that will be particularly useful for professional traffic control planners whose TCPs need to meet strict quality and consistency requirements. Other than the short clip, we've prepared full documentation of all the changes, including detailed tutorials for the more advanced new features like print frames and importing georeferenced images. You can access them by cleaning, clicking the corresponding boxes on RapidPlan's welcome screen. OK, let's check out some of the new changes, starting with one simple but powerful feature. Since RapidPlan 3.0, uh, you can edit all kinds of uh, text objects uh, directly on the plan canvas. We've extended this functionality and now allow editing text objects even if they're part of a group or a sign. All you have to do is double click on the text and start typing. This makes editing existing plans much easier as there's no need to ungroup objects um, or try to dig through group contents in the quick edit dialog. Just double click on the text and, and you're free to edit it. Moving on to bigger changes now. 99% of times when you're drawing a TCP, you will end up printing it or exporting to PDF. Your selected print region is then laid out on the printout page based on your current print options. Page size, margins, um, scaling mode and a few other things. Uh, we've obviously had print preview available while editing the options, but if you wanted to adjust the actual print region, you had to go back to the plan, make the adjustments, then back to the preview and so on. RapidPlan 3.2 addresses this by introducing in-place print preview while you're editing the plan. To enable it, double click on the preview icon of your selected print region and see how it will look like on your printout page. Your objects are still editable and uh, what is more, you can freely move or resize your print region while looking at uh, what gets included on the page. Users coming from previous RapidPlan releases might have noticed a slight change in how the page is laid out. Uh, when the print region proportions don't match the page proportions, um, in all the versions you'd have gaps between the page border and the actual content. Now, by default, the whole page gets filled with areas adjacent to the print region. So on the top here and at the bottom. If you prefer the old way and more control over what's included, go to print settings and uncheck the fill page with adjacent content box. And note how now uh, the top and bottom bits get trimmed. You can obviously still get rid of the gaps uh, yourself by going back to the editor and adjusting the print region size. Okay, so the next thing I'll be covering is also related to printing. RapidPlan 3.2 introduces what we've called print frames, an advanced feature that allows separating your plan annotations like title boxes, company logos and custom borders from the actual plan contents. Uh, the annotations then get drawn on a separate layout that directly represents the printout page. If you're familiar with AutoCAD software, print frames are the equivalent of paper versus model space. Um, you can create print frames for individual print regions. To do that, you double click on the print frame icon next to the region's preview icon. Or you can create one print frame for the whole plan by clicking the print frame icon uh, on the plan toolbar. In this case, the frame will be used when printing or exporting any print region on this plan. Uh, when you click the frame icon for the first time, Rapid will ask you whether you want to create the frame uh, and then take you uh, to the print frame editor mode. You can go back to the content editor with the escape key or by clicking the red icon here. So let's make this uh, a very simple frame with a title box, a scale marker and the north arrow.
the blue triangles here let me anchor my objects to specific page corners which is typically required when you're drawing um, uh, annotations for your TCP Note how the frame editor looks similar to the in-place print preview we've discussed before. This is because by definition uh, the print frame is laid out directly on the printout page. So the page preview here acts uh, as a visual guide for the stuff you're drawing, including how your frame objects fit over uh, the planned content. So if I print the active print region now, this is exactly what gets printed. Frame objects laid over my planned content. Uh, since I've defined this frame for the whole plan, it will automatically get used for all its print regions. One typical situation uh, where this will be useful is uh, where I have overlapping print regions, like here. Thanks to the separate print uh, frame, I don't have to clutter up my plan uh, layers with separate title boxes for each region. Print frames have a number of options. They allow creating generic frames that can be saved to a file and then reused for different plans. Uh, they can automatically adjust to different page sizes and orientations. Uh, all these options and usage scenarios are uh, covered in uh, the print frame tutorial that you can access online by clicking this box on RapidPlan's welcome screen. The next feature I'm going to talk about are text variables. Let's start with a simple usage example. My plan um, has a specific title and is drawn to scale at 1 to 500. Variables allow me to present these values uh, dynamically on the plan. When editing a text object, I can enter variables by starting them with a dollar sign. A pop-up box appears below, listing all variables that are available. Uh, I'm looking for title, so I can either pick it from this list or continue typing uh, until the list only shows a single matching entry. The scale variable comes in two variations, absolute or relative scale. I'll use both here. Once I finish editing the text objects, the variables get replaced with um, values taken directly from the diagram. If I update the plan title at a later stage, the text object will get updated as well. Naturally, the text is still editable. As you can see, in edit mode, it still shows the variables I've used. Now, the real power of the variables is revealed when I copy this text object um, to a different plan. I don't have to edit the object at all, as the variables will adjust the text and show the correct plan title and scale. This makes variables an excellent tool for creating generic templates or print frames that dynamically adjust to specific plan values. To see the full list of available variables, uh, go to Tools uh, and Text Variables, and you can browse them here. Um, the ones I've used um, so far were, were built-in variables, uh, but you can also define your own custom, custom variables here. Uh, a quick example, I'll make my planner license number a variable. I need to come up with a name for the variable and enter its value. Once I'm done um, editing uh, here in the dialog, uh, I hit save and my custom variable becomes available in all text objects. Okay, so another new tool, uh, the zoomed view box, which allows presenting detailed views of specific sections of a larger plan. Very simple to use. 
uh, you pick it from the annotations uh, category you then select the area you want to enlarge and then you draw the box where the zoomed view will be drawn the box can be manipulated just like any other object and you can also um, adjust the source area if you need to the zoom view box is fully dynamic which means um, it will update automatically whenever you change or add anything uh, within the source area The last thing I'd like to mention in this quick Rapid Plan 3.2 overview is that we've added support for integrating with third-party map providers with the use of geo-referenced images. Maps or aerial photos accompanied with files describing the coordinates of the covered area. A lot of popular mapping applications like NearMap or MapInfo Pro support creating geo-referenced images that can be then imported to Rapid Plan. Um, to create a new plan using such maps as background, go to the New Plan Wizard, select the Base Map Plan Type, and click Import Base Map from Georeferenced Images at the bottom. Select the files you've previously exported from another application, and note how their uh, georeference data allows Rapid Plan to work out their uh, location coordinates, scale, and bearing. Then when you proceed with the plan creation, uh, note these values are automatically used for the plan uh, and the photos uh, get arranged automatically on a dedicated background layer ready for you to draw your traffic control plan on top of this. For a detailed tutorial on importing georeferenced images, including instructions on how to export them from third-party applications, click this box in Rapid's welcome screen. Uh, to see a complete list of changes in Rapid Plan 3.2, click the last box. This wraps up our quick video overview. Thanks for watching and I hope you find our new features useful. As always, we welcome your opinions and suggestions, which you can email to support at invariant.com. In fact, most of our new features, uh, including print frames, are based on customer requests, so if there's anything you'd like to see in Rapid Plan, there's a good chance we can make it happen. Thanks again. Bye.